AES Lite is for third-party interfaces. It replaces VAGCOM 409.1 as well as any older versions of VAGCOM. Once you have downloaded the VCDS Lite installer, run it. Click Next to view the license agreement. Check the box to accept the terms of the license agreement and click Next. The next screen shows the default location for where VCDS will install. In most cases, this should not be changed. Click Install. Once installed, close, then click Finish. VCDS Lite should run. With the first use of VCDS Lite, you will need to configure it so it can talk to the interface. Click on Options. You will need to select what COM port the interface will be on. If you purchased a third-party interface that uses a USB plug, then the vendor you purchased it from will have to supply the driver as well as the instructions for setting it up. When you do the port test, the interface must be plugged up to the OBD2 port of the car. Click Test to perform the port test. If VCDS Lite is able to communicate with the third-party interface correctly, then you will get a message of Port Status OK, Interface Found. If the interface is not found, then try other COM ports. If the interface is not found on any of the four COM port options, then you will need to contact the vendor you purchased the interface from for support. Also note the latency test results. If the test results are fair or poor, then you may have communication issues with some control modules. Again, contact the vendor you purchased the interface from for support. Click OK, then Save. If you click the About button, you will see there is no serial number. You need to communicate and read fault codes from at least one control module in the car before VCDS Lite will generate a serial number. To do this, click Go Back. From the main screen, click on Select. Now select a control module to communicate with. In this example, I'm selecting Instrument Cluster. Once VCDS Lite has communication with a control module, the function buttons at the bottom half of the screen will become active. Note that not all modules support all function buttons, so some may be grayed out as you see here. Click on Fault Codes 02 to view fault codes. Now VCDS Lite will generate a serial number that can be viewed on the About screen. Click Done, Go Back, then Close Controller, Go Back, to exit out of the control module you are scanning. Click Go Back to return to the main screen, and now click on About. You will now find the generated serial number. Note that in this example, only one control module was scanned. It is up to you to verify that you can communicate with all control modules in your vehicle. If you cannot communicate with some control modules in the shareware mode, you will not be able to communicate with those modules with the full version of VCDS Lite. For cases like this, you will need to contact the vendor you purchased the interface from for support. To purchase the full version of VCDS Lite, you will need to copy the serial number. Just highlight it then right click and select copy. Now open up your web browser and go to the Rostec website. At the Rostec website, click on the register link at the top of the page. On the next page, scroll down to the dumb non-dongle box in green. Select click here to purchase a license. Please read over the information on this page. At the bottom, to make your purchase, you must submit the serial number VCDS Lite generated. Just right click on that field and select paste. Make sure quantity is set to a value of 1 and click on the add to basket button. You will now show the contents of your shopping basket. Click on the check out button. You must select that you agree to the terms and conditions in order to continue. So if you have any concerns, please read over them before you make the purchase. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, scroll down and proceed to fill out the required information to complete your purchase. You should receive an email from Rostec by the end of the following business day. Note that Saturday and Sunday do not count as business hours. If you must have the full version of VCDS Lite right now, then please place your order 24 business hours ago. Once your order is processed, you will receive an email from Rostec with the activation file. This activation file will be in two forms, the native VCA file and also in a zip format. Some email systems do not handle the VCA attachment correctly, so if needed, the zip format is included. In this example, the activation file was sent to a Google Gmail account. Locate the attachment and save it to your computer. It is up to you to know where you are saving it onto your computer. 
once the VCA file is saved, open up to that folder. Now open up the folder where VCDS Lite is installed. C Drive, Rostec folder, then the VCDS Lite folder is the default location. Copy the VCA activation file into the VCDS Lite folder. Start VCDS Lite up and click on the About button. It should now show that VCDS Lite is fully registered and activated. Rostec recommends you archive the email with the activation file. If you have to reinstall VCDS Lite onto the same computer, then you can use the activation file again. With VCDS Lite, Rostec will only allow one transfer to another computer. Use it wisely. Several customers with Hotmail accounts have reported that they do not hear back from us after making a purchase. We are sending out the activation files, but Hotmail has a habit of filtering out emails from Rostec at random. Because of this, we strongly urge you do not use a Hotmail account when contacting Rostec. Before you contact Rostec with technical issues involving third-party interfaces, please see our FAQ 3.3, then contact the vendor you purchased the interface from for technical support.